Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to another absolute classic. Today is a little bit of an interesting one, I think, because I don't think that it's really what you had in mind for an absolute classic, and it's not really something that I had in mind for an absolute classic either, but I think this is really the only way to describe it, because what this is, is a flight simulator, and that's why it's got some very strange, like, six pictures of aircraft? I, I don't really know. So what this is, this is YS Flight. Yes, that is correct. YS Flight. You know, like the letter Y followed straight by the S, and then Flight. YS Flight Simulator. That's what this is. And I probably sound like a bit of an idiot right now trying to describe this. Gotta go and check it out because it's absolutely free. Absolutely free. And, you know, should you want to, you can access this and play it. And it's fantastic. And the reason that it's fantastic is because there's just so much you can do. Uh, let's, let's jump in. Let's create a new flight. Now, I've played a lot of flight simulators in my day. Um... I, I do quite enjoy a flight simulator. Perhaps that's sad, but there's there's something quite um, you know, there's something quite nice about being in a flight simulator. Now, first thing to note, right? The graphics they're pretty trash. If you want to play a flight simulator for realism and you know graphical fidelity, then don't check out this one. But bear in mind, this is free, and I still think it's a fantastic job for being a free flight simulator. The area that you've got is, or the, the maps that you've got are, are fairly extensive. Hawaii is the only big one. That's important to note. The other ones are fairly, fairly shitty. Uh, not very fleshed out at all. Um, but there are a couple of interesting scenarios. You know, you've got, um, you know, wherever the hell this is. North, can you see, I have no idea. I think that's somewhere in Japan. I think this is based, uh, uh, this is an operation that's based in Japan, although I'm not entirely sure. Uh, and then you've got Heathrow, obviously, in the centre of London. But once again, it's not very fleshed out in terms of scenery or whatever, but it's got a couple of airports. So, you know, you've got Heathrow and whatever, Gatwick down there, whatever airport it is. Uh, and then you've also got, like, a couple of, a couple of you know, more decent maps that, uh, that have carriers on. You've got actually got aircraft carriers on, and we'll probably demo that fairly shortly. But Hawaii is pretty much the only map that is huge and it's for that reason that i really like flying around hawaii i think it's really really cool it's not a very geographically accurate representation it's not got a whole lot of scenery but it's kind of interesting okay uh, what else you can do wow you can you can customize wingmen now this is this is an interesting sort of little concept so it basically allows planes to fly up next to you that's kind of cool it allows you to select which formation you want to fly them in obviously there's not very much options here but it doesn't really matter whatever uh, and then you can also make minor tweaks to the environment so day and night you can't really add snow that's not really possible you can change wi uh, wind you can change some fog and whatnot and I don't clouds but that, that's really by the by there's not a super amount of customization you know paid flight simulators for example like microsoft flight simulators can do a lot 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 more with the environment now in terms of aircraft what have you got well you've got a fantastic selection and bear in mind that this is a free game and that you can go online and get any add-on that you want so there's add-ons for stuff like star destroyers and like any type of livelry that you could ever want so like the the decals on the side of the planes totally totally customizable there's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds there's thousands you know there's thousands of add-ons that you can download and uh, and just install just like that but even the default selection of planes that this game comes with and bear in mind once again that it's a free game uh, it's fantastic, you know, you've got a whole bunch of helicopters, you've got a whole bunch of passenger jets, um, the Airbus, you know, the A320, that's that's very, very cool. You've got the B-52, a massive, a massive, massive American carpet bomber. You've got passenger aircraft, the Boeing 747s, you know, the, the double-decker thing. Uh, you've got the Boeing 777, so, you know, proving that it's quite, quite new. You've even got Concorde, which I must say is probably my favorite aircraft of all time. Um without a shadow of a doubt, you, you know, you've got, you know, you've got fighter jets, you've got the Eurofighter Typhoon, you've got, you know, F-16s, you've, you've got, you've got fucking F-22 Raptor, I, I'm just in love, I'm absolutely in love with what this game has got just out of the box, for free, it's fantastic, uh, it's also got World War II historical aircraft, so, you know, the Lancaster, World War II bomber, um, it's got MiGs, so Soviet era jets, you know, from the Cold War, it's got Mirage 2000, France's jets, uh, Mustang, you know, World War II jets once again, the Raphael, 
Oh man, it's 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 really really crazy. It's really really crazy indeed. And you know, it's even got it's even got helicopters. So like, what the hell? Like it's it's great. It's absolutely fantastic. And this is this is just this is just the basic stuff. You know, this is without even going online and uh, and checking out all of the cool stuff. So I think we're gonna fly we're gonna fly the F twenty two Raptor. So one of the most agile planes uh, in this game, I think. Because why not? I mean, look at it. Looks pretty crappy, but it's all right. Uh, now, is there a carrier? Yes, there is, in fact, a carrier on this map. So, as you can see, it will detail the starting location for us. Let's go on the carrier, and we'll click fly now. Okay, so the controls are a little bit flaky. Obviously, I don't have a joystick. I'm not playing with a joystick, but I thought, you know, if you do have a joystick, then this is something that will definitely complement... Uh, definitely complement a joystick. Now, if we take a look around, you know, first thing that we can see, you got a whole bunch of different camera angles. Carrier is moving. How freaking badass is this? How freaking badass is this? This is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I've put these buttons on there, and I can't remember how to get rid of them, but you can get rid of them, believe me. Um, so yeah, this is this is our F-22 Raptor, and isn't it a stunner? Well, I suppose it's not very very nice. Something that I, uh, I must say this game is really, really bad at. Let me just go and adjust the sound quickly because I can tell you right now the sound is going to be pretty darn bad. All right. Also, that's probably a little bit too low. I apologize. I apologize for fucking up the sound a little bit, but that's okay. Something else that you can do that you can probably notice is you can shoot. This is a fantastic combat simulator. So, um... In terms of combat simulation games, I really, really like the way that this does this. Uh, you know, you get a whole bunch of guns. I mean, obviously, the F-22 Raptor is an air-to-air -air combat, you know, aircraft. It's not a B-52 bomber. It's not supposed to be carpet bombing places. Absolutely not. So it's it's got ammunition for gun rounds. It's got air-to-air -air missiles, short-range air-to-air missiles, and it's got mid-range air-to-air missiles. And it's also got flares, which help you uh, sort of avoid detection. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be ballsy, right? We're just going to put our... If I, is there is there better is there something better to do? I mean, perhaps we could turn a little bit. Yeah, we should probably turn towards the left and try and take off on this significant area of carrier space. So let's do that. Let's do that. I'm actually forgetting to yaw, but that's kind of irrelevant. Okay, we're stalling. We're stalling. We could hit the water, but it's okay because I engaged the afterburners. That's another thing that this game has. Uh, it's got afterburners. So you press tab and, you know, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. Of course, I don't actually know how to yawn this game. I'm, like, rediscovering this game a piece by piece, so to speak. I, I played it a long, long time ago, like years and years ago. The gear is still down. Let's get the gear up. There we go. And we're flying. Obviously, you can't do that with every aircraft. The fact that this aircraft, you know, has such a, a short length of time that uh, that requires you to, to take off is is great for our uh, for our purposes. But apart from that, it's fine. Now, what you just witnessed there is a little bit of a blackout. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know, this game is is fairly good when it comes to to G-force and an accurate representation of that. So, for example, if I pull up, I almost black out. And then I push down, and I go red. So you can either have a red out or a black out. I think that's what they uh, they refer to it as. G-meter is measured over the side there. Obviously, I can't really click over there because I'm using my mouse to steer the aircraft. As you can see, there's like a virtual joystick. Uh, I think it's really, really cool how that works. Very, very responsive. Really, really like it. Obviously, this is a very, very responsive aircraft. So I'm going to get that instant, that instant responsiveness. But at the same time, I really think it's very, very cool how to do that. Fully working flaps. Fully working, um, you know, if I could remember how to do that, so what's that? Fully working, not elevators, ailerons, um, tail thing, I can't, I can't even remember. It's been a long, long time since I've played. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm just, I, I just thought, you know, I jumped into it and I was like, oh my god, I've got to make a video on this. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, you've got your altimeter up the side there. Whoops. Fire our gun. Obviously, it's pretty wimpy on an F-16. Could be a little bit better, but, you know, hey-ho. Let's disengage disengage the uh, the afterburners and let's also throttle back a little bit so you throttle up with Q and A now something that's absolutely terrible in this game is the sound right if you're looking for a uh, realistic sound then you're not gonna find it in this game absolutely not uh, there are games that are much much better for sound quality and this game it does a very very bad job of actually representing what an aircraft sounds like because they all just sound exactly the same in this game which is fair enough you know I can understand that it's a free game they don't have the resources to go out and capture the actual sounds of uh, of you know every living aircraft 
in, uh, in, in the known universe, so to speak. But I think you sort of get where I'm coming from. For a free game, it's very, very good. It's very, very fun. Um, I just, I love looking at planes from the outside. I really, really do. Like, in flight simulators, I, I love looking at it from the cockpit, right? Because in the cockpit, you, you get to feel like you're really flying an F-16, for example. But when you look at it from the outside, and you just see what it does and how elegant this plane is, you know, it's it's absolutely fantastic. Other thing to note, right? There are other aircraft in the world. So if I press F-3, then that will actually show me all of the other aircraft there are in the world. Now I'm just going to flick back to, yeah, my plane, just to make sure that I don't crash. All right, let me... Let me try and hold my mouse roughly steady. I'll put the throttle up a little bit as well, just to make sure that we're increasing our airspeed, which can be measured uh, on the left half of the cockpit. All right, sweet. All right, and then if we flick through, you know, we can see there's a whole bunch of other badly textured planes that are just sort of existing, chilling out, taxiing around, flying, doing what they usually do. I really think it's awesome how you've got this whole environment around here. Now, you may have noticed, you may have noticed that on the map there are there are these circular thingamajiggers. Now, what's very, very cool about this game, and I sort of talked about it a little bit earlier, is that the combat experience that you can sort of you can sort of have is uh, can I sort of have can I sort of have a combat experience? Yeah, of course you can have a combat experience. It's really, really cool. And there are there are actually scenarios, so like missions, specific missions that uh, that allow you to to do these these combat objectives, so to speak. So could be a bombing run, could be fighting in an air to air. There's even a there's even um, let me change miss let me change. Oh, can I shoot you down? I, I might want to shoot you down. We'll go and we'll go and try that in a minute. Yeah. So no, there's like specific combat missions that you can actually do, and I freaking love them. There's in fact you know there's there's even a combat mission that allows you. Oh, I, I figured out how to do yaw. I think. Yeah, I figured out how to do yaw. It's indicated by that little little thing over there. Okay, now there is a way to get a map up as well, but once again, I'm an idiot, and I didn't check properly before coming on to make sure that I could actually do it. Now, are we going to be able to engage with this? No, I think we're going to have to go for a further away aircraft. That's cool. That's fine. Um... Well, we can definitely shoot it with our gun. Whether our missiles will actually lock on is another question. And the sound is really, really fucking annoying. Like, it really, really grates me. Really, really does. Especially when it's on full throttle. It sounds like it's whining all the time. Like, just with every aircraft. It's not specifically this aircraft that, that you have the problem with. There we go. Figuring out how to yaw. One step at a time. Simple. There we go. Easy. Okay. So, I fired the missile. It didn't lock on. That's fine. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, we'll try. We'll try and shoot down just like a normal aircraft because why not? You know, we've got these targets in the sky. We might as well take advantage of that. Obviously, we're still a little bit too far away to engage, but our ammo will go for a long, long way. But yeah, combat scenarios are really, really cool. Um, yeah, there's even there's even a ground-based combat scenario that allows you to potentially potentially that allows you to pretty much be like this ground turret. And when you're this ground turret, you have to stop all of the uh, the planes from reaching their required destination. Let's put, let's put an afterburner in. I mean, you can visibly see our fuel meter going down when we have it in afterburner mode, but who gives a damn? It's so fucking cool anyway. Um, yeah, flaps we can also adjust should we want to. Obviously, I don't really want to do that right now because we're, we're flying. We're not landing or whatever. Uh, we, don't need to, we don't need to go up or down or whatnot. But yeah, combat scenarios really, really are very, very cool. Now... Okay, turn the afterburner off. Come on. Come on, you beauty. Come on. I can see I see in my sights. We've got 3,000 3, ammos to use up on you. And all of this for absolutely nothing, ladies and gents. Like, that is the crazy part. Is that you, you get so much for so little. Literally, so, so little. And that is the reason that I'm sort of showing this to you today. Because it's absolutely free. And while it may not be the most accurate representation, and if you are a real flight simulator buff, then this probably isn't going to be up your street. Can I? No, I'm going to have to use my... I'm going to have to use my uh, my gun, I think. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit annoying to try and line up this shot. 
There we go. I'm trying. Not entirely sure how successful this is going to be. I think I might need to catch up to this uh, this plane before I can properly engage it. But yeah, wow. What what an interesting little game, I think. And, you know, it's it's certainly it's certainly worth it, you know? It's certainly certainly worth it in terms of what you actually get for for nothing. So, if you're interested, then you know, by all means click the link in the description and, and try it out for yourself because even though flight simulators may not be your thing, it's it's certainly worth at least checking out. Are my missiles able to lock on? Not quite yet. Not quite yet. I don't even know if they will lock on since these are not actually military aircraft. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to black out either. I'll do a flippy thing, though. A flippy thing? That's not the correct term, but whatever. Okay. Where is he? He's over there. Sweet. Why did I fire a flare there? I didn't mean to. I'll tell you that for free. There we go. Let's speed up. Let's catch up again. And please, let me just try and at least get a couple of pings off him. Because when it when you shoot him, it really feels good. It really does feel good. I mean, not not the fact that you're shooting a plane. I mean, that's that's on the whole a bad thing. But you know, when when you actually do engage with the enemy, it's sort of really really cool. Um, I quite like it. I quite like it a lot. Wow, just just what a what a fantastic looking plane, isn't it? And it's really cool. It's really very, very cool indeed. Come on, catch up today, please, sunshine. This aircraft is flying very, very fast in relation to us. I mean, I would have thought that we were flying a little bit faster, but maybe that is my mistake. Come on. Come on, if we don't catch up in the next 30 seconds, then... Okay. Will my missile hit? Hit? No. No, I need, I'm going to need to to gun him down, the manual way. Oh, look! You heard a ping there. You see the black smoke. You see the black smoke. And we're still finding it difficult to catch up to him. Wow, our speed is very, very bad. We slow down very, very quickly in comparison to him, which is not something that I truly expected. In all honesty. You know, F-22 Raptor, pretty darn fast, Orbital the Potato thinks. Apparently not, in comparison to uh, a jet. There we go, we're getting hits. Okay, ooh, red out, red out, red out. Should we try and get him with a missile? We tried. We missed. We failed. Now, that's a side of missiles. Can we manage to get lucky with another missile, though? Probably not, in fairness. Although, if we do hit this one, then I will be a happy chappy. Ooh, that's close. That's very, very close. There we go. Look at that, ladies and gents. Look at that. Holy cow. There we go. We shut him down. And it only took us about 20 fucking minutes. Oh, my goodness. Now... Air-to-air -air collisions are actually turned on. Like, the settings menu is woefully inadequate. Let me tell you that. Now, does it still count? Oh, yeah, it still counts as a, an actual plane. Oh, but it just despawned, I think. Yeah. Wow. There we go. There we go. What a, what a fantastic, majestic plane. Anyway, let's terminate the flight, and I will air-to-air -air penalty. <laughs> Yeah, because I shot down a, 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 a civilian aircraft. But anyway, if we go to simulation, there's not a whole bunch of simulations that you can actually do, but there's there's a there's a bunch of pretty cool stuff. So, for example, the ground to air defense missile uh, mission is the one that I was talking about. I'll quickly jump into this and uh, and show you what this is all about. Actually, um, enemy bombers. Let's just have enemy bombers. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Amori, I'll choose you. Let's go. Perfect. Okay. Defense ground force, at least 13 facilities slash vehicles must survive. Cool. So basically what this does is it puts you in the position of like a turret. 
How fucking cool is that? And this is the map that I was talking about, which I have literally no idea how to turn on. And I probably could turn on if I was uh, a little bit less of a less of an idiot. Now we've got air-to-air -air missiles, which is kind of nice. Let's uh, let's zoom in a little bit. You can see the target that we're up against in the bottom right-hand corner. Missile is locked on. He's moving. He's doing evasive maneuvers, trying to get away from the fact that I just fired a fucking missile at him. In fairness, I can understand his uh, his annoyance. Okay. Let's try and get some... Oh! Did you see that loop-de-loop? -loop? Holy cow. But anyway, yeah, this is this is basically what it is. All of the environment is destructible. So all of the buildings, for example, if I fire on them, boom, they explode. Just like the aircraft. Uh, explosions, they don't look the best. You know, I get that. But hey-ho, it's the way that things are. It's a free game. Like, you can't complain too much. So that's the sort of thing that you need to do. And it's sort of a wave-based um, defense um, mechanism. Um, but yeah, what we can do, what we can, well, what else we can do actually is we can we can create a new flight, and I want to show just as a, a last sort of way of going around things, we can we can do some formation flying now. I actually believe there's a simulation for this, so we could probably, where is it? An intercept mission in endurance mode, five close air support missions. Is that it? Is that the one that we were talking about? Maybe maybe this was the one. Maybe this was the one that we were thinking. Hmm. I can't really remember. Close air support missions. Do I have no I don't I don't have my wingmen. Where are my wingmen? But yeah. Let's let's try and get some wingmen. I really would like some wingmen, if at all possible, please, game. If at all possible. Create a new flight. Okay, I'll guess I'll do it manually. Uh create wingmen. Let's just get some super hornets, you know, some nice basic aircraft. Okay. Super hornets. I want I want everybody to start at roughly the same place, please. Okay, RW06, there we go, will this work? I, they might all just collide, they might all just collide at the very, okay, let's see if they all collide, alright, they may have all collided, they may have all collided, I don't really know, man, oh man, okay, how did I, how did I get, how did I get uh, wingman working before? Landed safely and stopped. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. How did I manage to get... Uh, create air combat? I mean, it can create air combat. Yeah. I mean, let's fucking do it. Okay, let's get some Let's get some wingmen then. I don't want a Skyhawk. I want a Super Hornet. Can I get a Super Hornet, please? I could get some B-52s. That's kind of cool. You know, B-52 bombers. We could go on a bombing run if that's exactly what we feel like doing. But obviously it's not if we're doing air-to-air -air combat. Because why on earth would we... Get a B-52 for air-to-air uh, -air combat. Uh, Super Hornet. Where's the Super Hornet? There we go. Yeah, let's, let's fucking do it. You are locked on. Okay. We're... Okay. Well, we're in combat. Now, I think I do actually have wingmen. I just can't see them. I think they may have been destroyed. I'm sorry, friends. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not good enough. Let's get some air-to-air -air missiles on, on the go. Oh, yeah, I do have, I do have wingmen. They're just not, um... Oh, shit. That's me, that's me dead. So, yeah. Wow. That was, that was brutal. Holy cow, I wasn't even aiming at the right people. Uh, the white people were the guys on my team. The white people were the guys on my team. And I should have realized that. I should have realized that they were on my team. Whatever doesn't really matter. Uh, let's get some... whatever, who cares. Fly now. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so the enemies are... Okay, the enemies are the other people. Okay, I'm locked onto him. There we go. Let's fire some missiles. There we go! But he hit into me. So his dead corpse hit into me. And that ended me. But yeah, we did have wingmen there. Pretty darn sure we did have wingmen. In fact, I think, yeah, I think those those are our wingmen that are flying around right now. The white guys. Guys that have the white box around them. The enemies, the green enemies, are uh, are going down because of my amazing shooting skills. Did you see that? Holy shitballs. We can even stick it in Afterburner because we're, we're cool like that. That's GG, boys. That's GG. Yeah, so let's go and have a, a little look. In fact, we can flick to our wingmen, I think. Yeah, there we go. Look, there's one of our wingmen. There's another of our wingmen. That's the enemy that's falling through the sky, and these are just uh, passenger jets. And holy cow, 
It's very, very cool indeed. But I love how you've got this, I don't know, environment, albeit a very, very simplistic environment. It's, it's certainly super, super awesome. And if I can just indulge myself, please, please humor me for at least... Uh, at least 30 more seconds while I try and uh, and get the aircraft of my dreams up. Now, I don't know, a little known fact is that Concorde happens to be one of my favorite aircraft of all times. Uh, all times? All time. I think it is an absolutely beautiful aircraft. It was um, it was created um, as, a, as, a, as an effort between Britain and France to make a passenger jet that flies faster than the speed of sound. It's the only passenger jet that has really ever flied, flied, flew faster than the speed of sound. It could get from like London to New York in what was it, three or four hours? I can't quite recall off the top of my head, but this is some aircraft, and I don't know. I think it's worth an honourable mention because it is absolutely great fun. And you know what? Fuck it. It's even got afterburners that light up. So if that's if 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 that's worth something, I would I would think that that's pretty cool at least. Stick some afterburners on, because we, we can't wait forever to get uh, to get airborne. Wow, look at this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful aircraft. I really, really do like it a lot. I really, really do. It is it is absolutely fantastic. Undercarriage go up. Oh, man. It is, it is some passenger aircraft. Only managed to seat 100 people, I'll have you know. Fun fact. But... It really is one of the most beautiful aircraft that I think I've ever seen in my life. It really, really is. And flying it in this game is just an absolute joy. Like, I, I think it, it's it's flying, it, you know, flying it anywhere would be an absolute joy. But I really, really do like the look of the Concorde. And I really, I really just love everything about it. It is absolutely fantastic. And unfortunately, it's not around anymore. You know, it was retired in 2001, which is a real shame but it's still one of the most impressive passenger jets, I think, ever in existence. So I apologize for just taking a moment out of your day to show you this fantastic aircraft, which, although it is a passenger aircraft, can still do fucking barrel rolls. Holy shit. I mean, that's not even a barrel roll, but you get the picture. In fact, I think that is a barrel roll, actually. Yeah, I just did a barrel roll. I didn't do a loop-de-loop, -loop, which is probably pushing it a little bit in this, this aircraft, but, you know, hey-ho, I think you sort of get what I'm saying. It's quite a fantastic aircraft. It's quite a fantastic game. You know, once again, you've got bombers. You've got fucking bombers. You can, you can do whatever you damn well please. I mean, if we take a quick look at the B-52, now I, I, I'm just, I'm just, I want to show you as much stuff as I absolutely possibly can because it's just such, it's such a great way of experiencing flight. Now let's get the B-52 on the go. Center our mouse. Have a look at the size of this thing. Holy cow! I mean, you saw Concord. It took about that much space of the runway. B-52 is bigger. B-52 doesn't have afterburners because it is a turboprop i think it's just a uh, it's just you know it's got the propeller thingies in the actual engines or got the turbines in the engines not the propeller thingies uh so to speak propeller thingies haven't been around for a fair length of time and uh, but yeah it takes a shit long time to take off i love the feel of uh, of each aircraft because every aircraft in this game feels different now i'm not saying that the way that they control is vastly different but it is it is different and you know it's distinctive it, the controls feel weighty the controls feel like they mean something it feels like you're actually controlling a b-52 if that makes sense i mean obviously i've never been in control of a b-52 bomber but you know it's fucking amazing look at this we're opening the bomb bay doors we want to drop some bombs that's amazing something else that i didn't really mention is that you can customize exactly what you put in the bomb bay so you can put whatever bombs you want in there look at us we're doing a carpet bomb that's right we only have a limited amount of bombs, but, you know, we'll spam them out since this is the, the, the last bit of the episode, I suppose. It's it's just it's just a really, really great game. Let's drop some flares just because, you know, we can. And the entire world is just phenomenal. It really, really is. There we go. Firing off the anti-air anti -air missiles? No, these are the air-to-ground missiles, which I, I should probably show you from the cockpit air to ground missiles flares up there yeah this aircraft really you know it takes a long time to turn and if i did this in a raptor you know we've already spun around three times so the controls are really really good i don't have a joystick obviously but this vir virtual joystick it gives me all the pleasure that a normal joystick would give me that sounded really fucking bad holy shit like i i, I take that statement back that sounded super fucking dirty um but <laughs> but it really is a very very good game 
for absolutely nothing. So it's worth a shot, you know, check it out. Tell me what you think in the comments, because it's absolutely free, and uh, I really, really enjoy it. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Over the Potato. This has been YS Flight. That's correct. The letter Y, the letter S. YS Flight. YS Flight. Yeah, it's fantastic. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.